Hi, this is Josh from Rico Consulting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a compact slicer to a report, a little bit of the formatting that's available for it, and then show you how to add a master template to a report. So to get started, I'm going to go here to the Report tab, and then the Compact Slicer option within the toolbar there. I'm going to move around just so you can kind of get an idea of the positioning of it. I'm going to put it where I want it to be. I can also right click it and select position and size and then move it to exact coordinates uh, this way to get a little more precision out of its, its position. Now let's choose which value I would like it to impact. So since this is a cost source report, I needed to use the cost source object and I'm going to bring in the cost center value. So again, you can see I've pulled that from the cost source object and brought in the cost center value. And so now that that's in there, you can see that this slicer will filter by the specific cost center that's been chosen. Now, if I want to do a little formatting of this, um, I can select the slicer and then this compact slicer tab becomes available. This tab has some formatting options uh, that you can choose from. A common one that I like to use is uh, making the slicer a little bit smaller to save on uh, space within the report. Another is to uh, change the color. So you can choose from any of the different colored options that are here available. Uh, one thing to note when choosing from those color options is that you have to select the slicer itself, this active pane right here, and not just the white space down here. And I'll show you what I mean. If I press down here, the Compact Slicer tab becomes available, but the color options are not. You have to actually press the drop-down itself to get these color options to be available. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you here is um, master templates. So let's say I just want to make this part of the finance report collection, and I want it to have the same um, slicer options that all of my other finance reports have. So in that case, I would use my IT Finance Master Report template, and I would apply that here instead. And so this is a pre-built template of slicers that you can apply to um, any number of reports, any reports that you want to have this same group of slicers, as well as a couple button options here. So you can see how, how simple that is to do. So you can either, you know, when adding slicers to a report, add them yourself manually, as we saw earlier, or choose from a template or create your own template. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, this is Josh from Rego Consulting. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or visit regoconsulting.com.